Hello everybody. Um, I just got back from a uh, private pick and this is a uh, part two of a pick that I uh, bought over the summer or in the fall. A bunch of toys um, including G.I. Joe and Star Wars and stuff and uh, it's a blustery cold. It's like 12 right now but when I left this morning it was five degrees and as you can see Hopefully you can see it in the background there. The car is packed full of stuff. And uh, I'm going to pull out a table, even though it's cold as heck out here, and kind of sort through it to let y'all see a little bit of what I picked up today. Um, I'm excited. I love this kind of stuff. And uh, like I said, this is uh, part two of uh, the toy pick. I will uh, add to the video maybe later some of the stuff that's still left from the original round of the toy pick. And it's going to blow your mind to see what I picked up. Um, all I can say is like 80s grail pick. Um, I'll see y'all in a bit here as soon as I pull the table out. And then I'll start showing you the stuff I got. Thank you. Bye. Alrighty. Um, <clears throat> I had to bundle up a little bit. It's, uh, it's pretty cold out here. And uh, like I said, you do what you can do when you're picking in the wintertime and the north country here but uh, i'm just going to show you a brief synopsis of what i just picked up today and i'll tell you how much i paid for it at the end and i also am going to take you through my big garage over there that's where i hold most of my stuff and i have another garage here that's like full of overflow and I guess if I don't watch it my wife's gonna divorce me because my house is full of toys and action figures and antiques and collectibles and all that good stuff too so I guess I gotta wait for the weather to warm up I'm gonna try and get the whole garage organized after the big one and anyways I won't keep you too long I just kind of give you a brief Run down here and let you see what's here. Um, box number one. And just let you know that big buy I did uh, in the fall. I found, I'm i seeing a lot of the pieces and parts that I was missing for uh, them in these boxes. So that right there alone was worth. Uh, you'll see here box number one. See it's sorted uh, different place set pieces and parts. Vintage Nerf Golf. G.I. Joe parts um, and some He-Man stuff in there. I got some Playmobil stuff. I got uh, that antique, probably 1920s cement mixer. A Jaeger cement mixer. That thing's amazing. Got a big track here. Plus also got the trailer court. I got some Texas Instrument and Coleco a talking teacher and talking spelling toys a bump and go train i got some gi joe stuff here a couple gi joe pieces and parts which i got a huge gi joe uh collection of stuff in the garage which i'll show you this is part of a big track which i got in the box this is like a huge toy from the 80s and all these are 80s vintage so more gi joe stuff um, I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to get back, but that's part of it still new in the box. And I'll get to search up through here to see if I got the rest of the toy in here. But in this box, we got um, there's G.I. Joe figures, there's Star Wars figures, G.I. Joe parts, we got Transformers in there, and these are all Gen 1 Transformers. So, um, I mean, it's just this is. I'm going to have to go through this. It's going to take a while, but it's like a gift that keeps on giving. Um, there's just some amazing stuff in here. I know some people might think this is a box of junk. But even if these pieces and parts don't go to what I got, parting it out, there's a lot of money here. I also got some mask figures in there, which I got a lot of mask stuff with the last batch I bought. Um... Got some more toys, a flex toy there. That's also vintage. There's that big track I was talking about. 
uh, more G.I. Joe stuff. Um, some actually Japanese uh, helicopter there. There's some Tonka toys. Um, I'm not sure what this is for. I'll figure it out. Um, and see if there's actually pieces and parts for it in there. But it does have a brake at the top, so I don't know if that is worth anything or not. But I won't get rid of it, so I do a little bit of research on it. And tons of Tyco and Radio Shack RC toys, um, hovercrafts, race cars. I'll have to go through and test them all out. Tandy. Um, there's just some good stuff in there. I mean, some amazing stuff. And then I got a Castle Grayskull here. The last pick, I got a lot of He-Man stuff. And I got all these accessories for Grayskull. And I'm glad I held on to them because I was thinking about selling them individually because I didn't have a Grayskull to put them in. Well, this is the Grayskull they went to. This is, like I said, the second uh, round of toys I got from that batch. So, so now I got the Grayskull to put them all in. And I got like 23 He-Man figures that I will uh, probably put, up, put with it too and there's some more of this and that toys I gotta go through and, like stuff that's probably not worth a ton but a couple bucks to collectors there's also He-Man accessories there's vintage Smurf an old uh, Hot Licks Tyco guitar be neat if it works handcuffs there um some old old uh chest armor there we got some skeletor armor and headband thingy some uh more texas instrument stuff an old uh tiny driving game which is probably not going to be worth anything because i'm sure there's batteries left in it but um this is an old uh, Fisher Price record player. It looks kind of rough on the outside, but on the inside it's like very new almost. Still got a McDonald's record to play on it, so that's kind of neat. And this box. The funny thing is, is there's a Roby Senior uh, remote control, which I actually had the Roby Senior in my garage without a remote control, so that's uh that's a welcome sight to see too. And there's a, a couple more uh, uh, G.I. Joe figures in there. A couple uh, Star Wars, Boba Fett, um, various different toys, some Fisher Price pieces and parts. Um, like I said it's uh, you know, it looks like a lot of mess to some people, but it's a lot of money. And I'll be going through this. And, piecing everything together but yeah there's a lot of pieces and parts in there a lot of pieces and parts um that's old playmobil toy old nylant toy has like pieces and parts i think that right there is a mask boat that's new old stock um spiffy spokes bike spoke decorators he man puzzle. Um, I said this toy right here is amazing. That's I looked up on my phone and I found one that was selling or sold for 115. I get home and my research, I think that it's probably going to be closer to 250 bucks for that thing. And then here, here's some good stuff. A lot more GI Joe stuff. Um, some uh, Star Wars figures, some Tonka parts. There's, uh, I think, a couple mask figures in there. There's uh, pieces of parts. I gotta find the rest of him. I have the actual flag, and that is the captain I need. And it looks like there might be the rest of the parts in there. So hopefully, I can complete. Alrighty. <clears throat> Now, as I uh, promised, I had a little cold out today. I'll show you some of uh, a few of the items that I picked up 
the last time on that pick and uh, I'm hoping the missing pieces that I've been looking for are in this batch so, come on in dog Bella you coming Go, go hunt in the garage, see if the squirrel's in there. Come on, go get the squirrel. All right, it's kind of dark in here, so. Fluorescent lights don't work that great in the cold. This is my uh, storage garage slash whatever. I got a lot of stuff. There's a bunch of toys. I'm not even going to be able to get to them. A lot of that stuff I got last time is over in here. There's boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff. Um, let's see here. I'll save the best for last. This is boxes. GI right. Joe toys, vehicles, helicopters, spaceships, all kinds of stuff. There's some of the uh, He-Man stuff and G.I. Joe stuff. There's He-Man stuff that I had for uh, Grayskull. That's more G.I. Joe stuff from the 80s. That's a command center. Um, I mean, I got lots of stuff in that deal. I paid up more this time. But I did good enough last time. And I figured it was worth it. So, um... There's a couple boxes down here I'm not going to be able to get to. There's boxes of toys. Um, play school. There's all kinds of different things. But um, more up there. And here. All those totes, those tubs. That's all from that sale or from that buyout. There's a... Uh, I mean, there's an unbelievable amount of stuff in there. I can't even begin to tell you what's all in there. I picked it up kind of late in the season and didn't really get a chance to go through it. But, um, yeah, that's amazing stuff. Um, how about that I get in there? Um, all right. There's a couple things I got that in it. The last buyout, that Concept 4 racing wheel. And this is the Mogita. That's what I like to call, like, the Grail. The USS flag. They were seven foot long. In the original box, and the box has got some wear. And the toy is in there. There's like five little pieces missing, including the captain, which I'm hoping is in those boxes that I bought today. Yeah, I'm missing uh, the connector for that. I'm, I'm missing the arrestor bar, which I'm not seeing on the cover here. I am missing a piece of the tower up there. And I'm missing two little connectors for the deck the captain and there's a speaker on it I'm missing the back cover to the speaker that speaker right there and as far as I know everything else is there um, yeah this is this is the uh, Mogita I got it listed online right now but I think I'm going to take it off because uh, nobody wants to come pick it up where I live at this time of the year. And we got shows coming up. And I think if those pieces are in there, I think I can get $2,500 for this at a show. So I think I'm going to hold out. Hope those pieces are there. I've already bought some pieces for it too. Um, I bought three, four pieces and a booklet for it online. Trying to make it complete. So, but yep, that's... Uh, that's the Mogita. Well, I'm going to go ahead and sign out for now. Oh, that's bright. But thank you for uh, viewing. And I uh, hope you liked the video. And uh, please check us out on the uh, next videos. I'm going to try and post at least one a week. And I've got actually footage 
of an auction that I went to that I picked up some really amazing stuff at. Um, that I think we'll get out before this video here. So uh, let me turn our light off. See if that helps any. But get back out in this cold. All right, y'all. We'll, we'll see you on the next time. Thank you very much.